royal baby will suck our blood in mid 21st century, says Russian lawmaker. The royal baby boy born to Kate Middleton and Prince William, which, by the way, every single media network has got rolling 24 hour coverage. They were literally on it for two hours on Fox News outside the hospital waiting for them to show the baby. I noticed the only network that didn't even report on it was Russia Today, which, you know, we've had our scrapes with Russia Today, but they're probably the only mainstream media network that's seeing an appreciable acceleration in viewing figures because at least they don't focus on bread and circuses and crap like the royal baby 24-hour rolling, fawning, North Korean-style worship of the royal family, which is now occurring once again in Britain after it occurred in 2011, 2012, of course, the royal wedding, you had the jubilee, and now with the royal baby, fawning North Korean-style Kim Jong-il worship. If it's good enough for a, you know, a Stalinist dictatorship, then I guess it's good enough for Britain. But what's funny is that this Vladimir Zirinovsky has come out, and he's known as a firebrand, but he said that this British monarch, who is set to become the king by the middle of the 21st century, will suck the blood of Russians, uh, calling Britain an enemy of Russia, the lawmaker said, quote, that's why the birth of another British monarch who will suck our blood somewhere in the mid-21st century cannot bring us any kind of happiness. So it sounds like Mr. Zirinovsky has seen InfoWars' exclusive footage of the birth of the royal baby. We scooped them all, of course, which we aired yesterday, and you can see on InfoWars.com. Amazing footage of the actual birth there. Quote of the day, I have ways of making money that you know nothing of. Who said that? Well, it was, of course, John D. Rockefeller, who also said competition is a sin. So that gives you an idea of some of those ways in which he made his money. Stick around on InfoWars Nightly News, because after the break, we're going to talk to activist Ashley Jessica about water fluoridation, what you can do to prevent it, and an upcoming protest that she's got organized in Toronto. Stay right there. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.